All right, admit it, you know you wanted to see a little bit more of that Alco C415 that Brian Elchlip brought over. And here you can see he actually brought a Frisco caboose, which makes no sense for my 1973 era layout, but that's all right. We're just going to enjoy this locomotive for a couple of minutes. This is Burr Stewart, and welcome to part 60 of my continuing operations videos. This isn't much of an operation, just a caboose hop between Everett and Seattle. But we're going to go over the bridge number 4, which in the real life is a lift bridge. And then we're going to go into Inner Bay and stop. And we'll just give it enough time to spool down so you can enjoy the sounds of this locomotive. Oh, did you see it hit that tree? we got to fix that. Well, there's the promised bridge number four, otherwise known as the Salmon Bay Bridge. I didn't have room to model the whole thing, so we just put a short span in there to represent it. All right, we're coming underneath Emerson Street into the Inner Bay Yard, otherwise known as the Balmer Yard in North Seattle. This trackside view is so low, I guess I must have gotten a lawn chair out to take this photograph from. Brian was driving this train and he wasn't sure what to do, so we just had him stop in the yard and wait for further instructions. Here's the same action from a slightly different viewpoint. If you want to see more action, you'll just have to go and look at all the other 50 videos on my channel. Or is it 400? I can't keep track. And I hope you do, and enjoy them as much as I've enjoyed producing them. What a nice, distinctive Alco idling sound, huh? Let's just end with a couple of other camera angles and call it good. So for now, this is Burr Stewart wishing you much fun with trains.